Hello, and welcome to Feed the Die Wolf with me, the least happy one, okay, Mr. Sarrett. Well, I should say most happy one, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today. <laughs> Quite a big weekend. As you may remember from last episode, I... Whoa. A few chunks not loading. No, no, okay. Yeah, I had a big weekend. Wedding to go to, parties, and yeah. So right now, <laughs> I'm kind of feeling it. But anyway, back over at our bees. I'm not actually going to be doing much with the bees today, or I don't plan on it. But what I am doing may need the bees. Well, I say may, I know that it actually will. It's pretty much the point of what I've been doing over here. Just going to... Well, I know there's a creeper over there. I don't want to go that way. Just going to check the trees. See if we've got anything new. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Well, that was not very friendly. Oh, the bees are okay. Hmm. May have to patch this up. <laughs> uh, wood. Go from this way. I don't think I'm going to... No, I'm not going to have enough. Not by a long way. Oh. Oh well. Let's just whack a little dirt. <laughs> yeah. It's a temp patch. But, and I'll fail at that. Oh, wow. It will do. It will drive me crazy. Just as much, if not more, than it will drive you crazy. But for the time being, it will do. Okay, we'll quickly check these ones. See that we've got nothing new. A couple more to check. Hmm. Whoa, that was a big jump. Oh, out of room. No biggie. Just lime trees. Or what do they call them? The silver lime. And I am out of room in another chest. Hmm. Anyway, let's just forget about that and keep going. And you can see some of my bees are still working in the rain. Those are the ones that I have given... well... we'll analyse one of them and I'll show you what the trait is. It's a flyer. Oh. Then they were nocturnal. They're no longer nocturnal. Hmm, we're going to have to give them nocturnal back. I'm not sure why they're not nocturnal. Anyway. I have done a little bit of work over here. And just here you can see... I put a diamond pipe here. And a couple obsidian... These are obsidian chests. One way, the black way going down, is for anything. But all the combs go into this one. This here is my drop box for comb. I just come and whack it in there if I've picked it up. There's a wooden transport pipe with an, an autarkic gate working at the back there. And if I come down here... Where that beat? It comes down here into this hopper. Into this line here, into this centrifuge I should say. Another wooden transport pipe. You can see some beeswax and some honey going back through. This wooden transport pipe, our uh, autarkic gate, is... Well, there's another diamond pipe there, you can see. Which is dividing it, sending anything up here that I... Anything that is not either oily propolis or petroleum propolis. So that's what I'm doing. I'm sorting out the oily and the, the petroleum. It's coming over here. 
I've got quite a lot of it, obviously. Problem is, I haven't yet finished this system off, so Propolis is still getting filled up here, and it's stopping the whole system. So I'm going to have to... Yeah, I've got power going into one side, pipes going into another side, so the only other side I've really got to pull things out of is the front here. So I'm going to... It's going to be a bit messy, but... I have to get something to pull these here out because they just fill up way too quick. This one here only I'm manually putting the honey into this one here and it's still filling up with propolis. I've got so much of this stuff. Just been turning it into sticky resin. No reason. Just because I'm too lazy to take it back up <laughs> really. But anyway, that's this over here. Oh, bit of lag. Come on. There we go. Liquid DNA is getting up there. You can see some biofuel going through the system here. That's going over to my liquids storage. And we also have oil going over there. It's my honey. And that's the point of all this, was to collect the oil. We'll head on over there now. Come on. Doesn't like me flying. I should upgrade these. I've got enough there to upgrade them. I don't know why I never did. Pants need a quick little charge. Ooh, that was at full. Which can only mean it's not using... Yeah. Wasn't using any for the mess fab. I have a fair bit. Oh, well, I don't want diamonds. Fair bit of you, you matter. I get the chance. I'm probably going to use that to make myself a grav suit. So just about have, just about have got everything ready for it. Anyway, back down to the liquids. Oh, lava. May as well go through and get those pumping again. We can stop lagging at all. A few pigmen. <laughs> oh, back up here. Come on. Yep. It's actually not as laggy as it was, but it, it's lagging out in different areas that it never used to. Okay, down here. We've well, just seen some biofuel coming into here. We've got a fair bit. I've moved the biofuel from that tank to this tank. Got quite a bit of oil as well. Not as much as I need for what I want, but we may as well continue on. And this big tank here I have turned into fuel. So I have done a little bit of this already. And that is made a few refinery. On well, their mode like so, you've got your normal Billcraft tank, diamond gear, and redstone torches. Uh one sec. Yeah, redstone torch. <laughs> Everyone knows how to make redstone torches and tanks, of course. Just glass. Nothing fancy there. The diamond gear, we have made a ton of these. Diamond around a gold gear. Gold gear is gold around an iron gear. Iron gear is iron around a stone gear. Stone gear is cobblestone around a wooden gear. And there you go. We've made so many of those. We'll take four, probably more than we're going to use. I've made this little room here. This is going to be my refining room. And we'll just plonk these down. There's not really much room in here, but it'll do. It doesn't really matter where I put them because I'm going to be using tesseracts for all this. Now, maybe I should have just put one down to show you. But anyway, you can see that there is two tanks on one side, one tank on another. The two tanks, that is where the oil goes in. 
the single tank is where the fuel comes out. So we're going to need a few more things. Another obsidian chest. I'll show you how to make one of those. That's just obsidian around a diamond chest. And we have made these before. An, 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 blah, 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 blah. It's early. <laughs> an obsidian chest is the same internal size as a crystal chest. The obvious advantages to an obsidian chest over a crystal chest is it is not see-through. And you might say, well hang on, that's not very useful. It's definitely not an advantage. Well, it is because these things do not lag your world out as much as crystal chests. Crystal chest has to render pretty much everything that's in it, whereas an obsidian chest doesn't. Or at least that's what I'm told. Oh, we're gonna need we've got a nice few nice flowers. We're gonna need a few things. We're gonna need some redstone energy conduit, liquiducts. I've got an energy tesseract and a liquid tesseract. We've seen how to make these before. And a tune tesseract and a pneumatic servo, tin, silver, copper. That's for the liquid, and unattuned tesseract is, of course, your tesseract frame with obsidian, molten, not molten ender, not obsidian. And they're made like so, hardened glass, tin, diamond. Made all these before. Energy one's very similar. We've got a redstone conductance coil instead of the pneumatic servo, though. Um, oh, yeah, copper up top whereas the energy has an electrum ingot. Anyway, that's something we've done plenty of times before. What we want here, we want some liquiduct, also something we've made plenty of times before. And we're going to have it like so. Just realise we're going to need a couple more liquid tesseracts. Hmm. Where's my glove? Right there. Actually, <clears throat> a bit of a frog in my throat at the moment. I'm also going to pump this out, of course. Yep, like so. Now, we're going to need some power going to this. And for that, of course, redstone energy conduit. Come on, mouse. Make sure it's blue going in. And I'll put the energy tesseract down here, I think. You've got to have at least one gap here because this one here is going in and you want it'll go in from any side. Anything you connect to it will be an in. You want a, an out coming out from. So you need an extra one on there. See how it's still blue for in? You can flip that over. That way you can have energy come out of here. I'm just going to use normal energy here. That will do. Um, I think that's coming from my main energy. My uh, magmatic engines, I think. Could be wrong. Most likely am. Usually am. Oh, and we want that to receive only. There we go, so these all have power, they use they do use power. Next we want the liquid tesseract. And we're going to connect that to Well, none of those as it turns out. We need two more liquid tesseracts. I haven't actually planned to make any extra, so I'll have to head back over here. Should have all the resources available. Gonna have to run around and collect them all, I think. There we go. Okay, so we need some tin, we need some silver, we need some copper. We have got some copper. Need some room first. Apple, don't need you. Okay, you got the copper, we've got iron, we may need you. 
Kane and Silva can't see any. Oh, that's our frame. That's handy. Hmm. Oh, we are making that one already. Fantastic. need a little bit more. Oh, come on. I'm going to need for the pneumatic server, we're going to need a bit of glass and some redstone. And a bit of glass is more than what I should need. Tin. Silver, silver, bit of tin up there. I'm sure, there was something else, but I've already forgotten. Oh, come on, lag. We're back. I had to restart. Things were going a little bit crazy. Anyway, I have done a little bit, but. Made an extra unattuned tesseract for future use, but we've also got two liquid tesseracts now. Uh, quite a bit of ender. 60k corn cells. Mm. Let's swap you out for the liberers. Alright, let's head back down there. Hopefully that's enough. Still got liquid up. Yep, we'll need some of you. Might need an extra lever. So let's grab some cobblestone. Shouldn't be a problem. Hey. Now, neither of you are meant to be cobblestone. Hmm. Must be pulling too much out, too much cobblestone out underneath, and I've completely drained it all. Come on. Wow. See, I said earlier that it's been pretty good with lag lately, just lagging in different areas to what it used to. And I think that's the reason why now I'm lagging like crazy. Put my foot in it. Alright, we'll have a couple of liquid ducts going down like so. Going to need a lever. Just shift right click. Put this to come on mouse out and work a liquid tesseract right here. And we'll call this one oh just oil. Oil in Now the tesseracts are very smart, they won't pump things through if there's not enough room at the destination. They do have a tiny little internal storage as well. So we're never going to overflow over here. If anything, we will run out. Okay, oil goes in, and you can see straight away they have started. That's good. First tank, first side filling up, and the second side. And you can already see there is some fuel in there. Very good. Whack down another liquid tesseract here. Oh, thank God. What have I got this one set to? We've got this fuel production, 971. So we'll set this to fuel production, 971. Send only. There we go. Hmm. What I should use for here, which I'm sure I've got plenty of it. I've got one lever net left, which I'm going to use. 
You're lagging right here. Constantly. It was ever since the trip to the never. 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 Can't talk today. Hmm. Nope. 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 A bit of popcorn there. Ah. There we go. That's what I'm after. Take a whole leap of it. And that way we only need to use the one lever to get this going. Because we do need a redstone signal to pull out of these. Glove please. Let's get down here. Yeah, that's the last one. So we'll whack you under here. And we may as well Yeah, we've got we got enough. So we'll bring it over here. Oop. Oh. Maybe we won't have enough. Yep, we will. Need to put that back. Okay. Lever. It works there. That, that'll do. And we need to put these two out. There we go. Enough oil's going in, tiny little bit of fuel going out. We can see fuel is now going into here. Very good. Oil is draining though. Plenty of biofuel. So we head back over. Just double check that we haven't filled up on propolis again. Now I haven't perfected this yet, I haven't got all that many oily drones going, or refined drones, or any other kind of drone. Oh, it's really bugging me that. Just grab these here. So we we'll probably end up putting quite a lot of these along here will be oily. Horrifying, of course. Whack them in there, they'll eventually go down. Yep, you can see them going down there. Very good. Yeah, there you go. Filled up again. Alright, so that's something I'm going to have to do off camera, most likely. And get rid of all this propolis. But anyway, we now have fuel production, a little bit closer to final goal. Look at all the honey. We might have to start putting the honey, automating it through here as well. There we go. Oh, there's one other thing I didn't mention, I have got an analyzer over here just analyzing the bees before I put them through here but anyway probably a pretty short one for you guys but as always i am got to go to work, I've got work on yes I'm still struggling to to leave it alone <laughs> alright, now that's the episode hopefully you've enjoyed, got something from it oh, whoa, 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 whoa whoa Okay, don't know what that was. Anyway, 
Hopefully you've got something from it. If you have, hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I will see you next episode. Bye-bye.